everybody, it's Peggy with Wild Magnolia Soaps and today we are going to make a soap with hot fudge brownie um, fragrance and it's from Nature's Garden and it smells so good you'll want to eat it. There we go. And I'm not going to add any color in because this is going to turn brown because of the fragrance. I'm going to separate some of it because I'm going to pipe the top of the soap um, and so let's go ahead and get started. I've already measured out my oils and my lye and got everything ready so let's go. <laughs> Now I'm going to add the lye water. Give it a stir. it's coming to trace. I'm going to not put the fragrance in yet because I don't want the top to turn brown. So let me stir it up just a little bit more. Okay, let's go ahead and separate some of the white. Now I'm not going to measure this because, you know, I'm just going to eyeball it. I think that's probably too much for the top, but that's all right. We're going to set that one. Let's go ahead and mix this up. To go back to the original batter. Let's see if I can get in the shot. There we go. And now I'm going to add the fragrance that I've already pre measured. This really does smell like fudge brownies. Now my house is going to smell good for days. Ooh. Making me hungry. All right. All right. I'm just stirring it to get out the air bubbles. for the most part. Okay, so now I'm going to pour it in the mold. And let me just stir it up just a little bit more with the... just to make sure I got all the air bubbles. Oh, this smells so good. And that's pretty good on my measurement. Haha. <laughs> I'm a mess. All right. So let's scrape the last of that out. Remember, I don't want to add it to my other one because I want it to stay white. Okay, so I'm just going to let this. Uh, get set up and wait for my um, for my piping. Well my piping is pretty firm now. I don't know. I guess the fragrance oil um, slowed it down. But I'm going to wait for this to firm up just a little bit and then I'll come back and do the piping. Okay we're back and ready to pipe the soap. Let me just make sure that we can zoom in just a little bit for you. And you can see, prior to this, I made some little chocolate bars to put on the top. So here we go. Now you can already see it's turning kind of yellow compared to the regular batter, which is white. So 
it's going to absolutely turn a darker color. Pretty sure it will turn brown. Well, let's get started. about right. Let's try to fix that one oh, one over here. Mm, good enough. I'm pushing them deeper in because I don't want them to break off when I ship. I should have turned it around for you guys so you could actually see. Let's do it like that. There we go. All righty. That's it, we got a couple left over. So, here we go. So just picture it with the bottom brown, because I'm pretty sure that's what's going to happen. And then this will be the creamy white. And there we go. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and I really appreciate you watching. If you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you. Hi guys, it's Peggy with Wild Magnolia Soaps and I'm going to go ahead and cut yesterday's hot fudge brownie soap. It smells really good. It looks like it's turned to maybe a butterscotch color. I don't want to just lay it on the counter because it uh, might smush the little bars, the chocolate bars. Okay, so yeah, came out a nice butterscotch caramel color. I'm pretty sure it's probably going to get much darker, but if it stayed this color, I'd be okay with that. Okay, let's see how it came out. A little crooked. Okie dokie. So for once I didn't chop any of my toppings off, which is good. I like it. Now I'm sure that it is going to get darker on the inside by the time the um, four or six weeks comes around when I can uh, sell these, I'm sure it'll be much darker. But I, it smells so good. And I think it's really cute. Not bad. Probably could have left the little bars out a little bit higher, but that's okay. I just didn't want them to break off when I shipped them or packaged them. So, alright, everybody, thank you so much for watching.